<laughs> okay, so now we're going to talk about surface area. But now we're back to revolving things. If you revolve our, this, okay, yeah. if you revolve this area I have enclosed here around the axis, we know we'll get our solid figure and we know how to find its volume. Now I want to find its surface area, the area of the outside surface of it. Okay, so, of course, as always, everything goes back to our friend the rectangle. We love our friend the rectangle. Okay, but where will the surface area we're trying to find be located on our rectangle? That, yeah, we're out to find this little bitty top edge up here. We want to know how the surface area as we rotate it around. So if this is our rotated disk I have drawn here, where is its surface area? It's on the outside edge. So what we're trying to find is this area out here on the edge of this little disk. That's what we're after. Okay. Brilliant one. How would I find the surface area? It'd be like finding the, the surface area of the edge of a nickel. How would you find the surface area of the edge of a nickel? Okay, we never know diameter. We always work with radius. So, what did you say? Okay, Mitchell said circumference of the circle times the thickness of it. Yeah. Okay, so that's not a major big deal. Circumference is 2 pi r. Okay. The thickness is, now in this case, is it going to be a perfect, how will I say, a vertical, or a, a very, when we did our rectangles before, I cut them off straight. But this one, I need it to follow the length, follow that curve. So as I do different rectangles over here, if I do, say I did a big fat rectangle here. Maybe if I do that rectangle. I am talking about, I need to know how long that curve is right there. Because I need to follow the exact edge. I can't just take rectangles and so, hmm, how am I going to get how long that little edge is to get my thickness? It's length of a curve, yes. So I need 2 pi r times the length of the curve. Well, golly gee, do we know a formula for the length of the curve? So, you can already see it coming. I'm going to just cut to the chase here. Yes, it's going to end up being integration because we're going to sum up all those little surface areas. The 2 pi is going to go up front. So, all I need is something for what the radius is and something to fill in the length of a curve. So, what's determining the radius of this thing? How far this curve is from the axis. So in other words, that's controlled by the function, isn't it? So r is just going to be whatever the function is, however tall the function is at that point. And then length of curve, we've got a formula for it. So we just need to fill in the formula with the 1 plus derivative squared, and of course times the x. And ta-da! You have found the formula for surface area. Supposed to be excited and grilled. You are supposed to be excited and grilled. Okay, can these go around the y-axis? Yes, they can. If they go around, okay, uh, let me point out. While we're doing these, we're just assuming our rectangle is parallel or perpendicular to what it's going on. If this rectangle is sitting perpendicular to what it's going around, so it's like this method. So you, when you lay in your rectangle in there thinking about it, if you're going around the x-axis, your rectangle's vertical, so you're going to have x's in your problem. My gosh, you're back already? Wow. And if you're going around the y-axis, you're going to have y's in your problem. So yes, you can go around either axis. 
Guys, I want to get started on the project, and um, we just need to work one problem, and I'll be happy as a clam. Here's your function. I want to find, this is not a very big surface area, I only want to find it from 0 to 1 half. Once again, what must you find first before you work the problem? Derivative. You might as well get the derivative out of the way. Okay, how do I do this derivative? <laughs> to the negative one half, and then you've got to do the chain rule derivative. The inside would be a negative two x. Okay, now clean that up. How can I make that a little neater? Because the twos are going to cancel, so I'm going to have a negative x, and I'm actually going to drop the root to the bottom. So it'd be a negative x over the square root of one minus x squared, wouldn't it? Now plug it in the formula and get an answer. Okay, so to do surface area, it says two pi. What's our a to b in this problem? Zero to half. Then it says take the function, which in this case the function is the square root of 1 minus x squared, times our length of curve formula, which is 1 plus yeah, our derivative squared. And we already that's why we already figured our derivative, so we already have it in there. That whole thing squared. Yes. And perhaps looking at that, you can envision why I'm allowing you to work all of these by calculator. <laughs> these can be downright ugly by hand. I didn't know we call it by hand. You should feel sympathy. What? What? Real quick question. Anybody want to guess the answer? No, one pie. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of unit? Squared. Squared area. Turns out to be just pi units squared, yes. Actually, when you simplify that whole mass, a whole bunch of stuff cancels. It's actually a really easy equation. Okay. So that's it. Length of curve, curve there. You can plug it in the formula. You got it there. Um, last year I decided that we kind of insane to make the memory and two formulas for you.